How to create a podcast from scratch? Keep watching. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to make your podcast episode. So if you are looking for inspiration or tips or you just want to watch me create a podcast episode from zero to launching it and uh, letting everybody know about it, I'm going to show you in this session exactly how I do it so that you can press pause and watch me do that bit and then you can press play again, watch me do the next bit, press pause and you can do that so that you can create your very own podcast. So I'm going to walk you through that whole process now and if you've got any questions or if anything comes up and I haven't done it in this video, please put it in the comments below and I'll make sure that I either create a separate video that walks you through any bits that I miss out uh, or I'll answer you in the comments. So I'm going to take you across to my screen and we're going to start creating. Let's go. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you what I use to create the podcasts that I make. I now have a team that, that do it for me, do the editing, but I decided that instead of using something like iMovie, because I've, I've used iMovie for years, I have a Mac. If you have a Mac, you can use iMovie. You usually get it for free on your Mac. Um, you could use all kinds of other things like Camtasia um, is another one that you can, you basically buy it and you use it you could use uh, ScreenFlow most likely where you've got the opportunity to record your screen and that's what I'm using right now to uh, record this for you and ScreenFlow does a load of different editing stuff now that it didn't do when I first invested in it but the reason why I've chosen ClipChamp is because it's an online editor which means that I can be location independent if I haven't got my laptop with me and I need to do some quick editing I could borrow someone else's laptop if I wanted to and I could log straight in I've also set up templates so that I can give this to my team so I know that I'm editing in exactly the same way that my team is and if I want to create something on here I can then say to my team right I've uploaded XYZ video um, can you now go in and, and edit it and do all your stuff with it so uh, I, you know I work with my team on this uh, it's about 10 pounds or 10 dollars a month I can't remember what I think I bought it for the whole year um, so you get a discount if you buy it in advance for the whole year if you pay up front but you can see it does a load of stuff. You can record in this, you can edit, you can add music, you can uh, put text, you can layer graphics on, you can add transitions, you can do everything that I can do in iMovie, uh, I can do in this. So I, I'm really a fan of this because it's very easy for you to uh, just get started and, um, and, and literally plug and play. Now what you might find is the first time that you use ClipChamp, uh, it might take a few hours for things to buffer and, and sort itself out. That's what's been my experience for myself and my team. But usually uh, if you sign up to it and um, you know drag and drop some of your stuff into the account and then go in two or three hours, you know, go make a cup of tea or have some lunch or something, come in two or three hours later. And then it seems to be ready to work with from that point onwards. I don't know why it does that. It might not do that for you, but it certainly did that for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a, a graphic that has uh, like a, a you know a nice whizzy logo so if you already have your branding what I suggest you do is go and create something like this so I've got all of my um, podcast sequence stuff all my intros and outros I keep them um, in a folder so that I can just literally go and drag and drop them now bear in mind I'm creating you one here from scratch to show you uh, I've already got all this stuff in a template so I never have to do what I'm about to show you again I'm just showing you this because you probably want to know step by step exactly how to do it so um, wh what I did was I went and uh, had a, a logo created for my branding and so you'll see it here if I drag and drop this in you'll see on the screen there's a nice little logo and uh, they edited it for me so that it had uh, you know a nice little gra graphic so it was a bit of a little video here now the reason why I'm creating it as a video here is because I upload my podcasts to my YouTube channel and they go up into my podcast account, which is Anchor. So I've used various different 
podcasting platforms before, various paid ones. And actually, Anchor does everything that all of the paid ones do, and it's totally free. So if you wanted to, you could actually record your podcast direct into Anchor if you're just going to have a sound only, and you don't need to worry about any of this stuff that I'm doing here. However, if you do want to create a double whammy of SEO and you want Google to be promoting your business as well as whatever podcasting platforms you use, then I would suggest that you start by creating it via video first and then then export it um, as an audio afterwards. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I do the video version of it. Now, this is very slow. I don't want it to take nine seconds for somebody to have to sit through that. So what you can do is on the right hand side, you can see there's various different options here. And one of them is speed at the very bottom there. And what will happen is as I do this, you can see it getting shorter. Yeah, so you see that logo down here, it's getting shorter. So I'm going to do it so that it's, I, I usually like it to be between three and five seconds. So there we go, that is about five seconds. So now you can see that sped it up just that little bit. And that for me is the perfect length. So now what we want to do is um, we want to go and look at how you can create your own custom logo. So um, I've got somebody that I use on Fiverr. So if you go to fiverr.com, set yourself up with an account if you don't have one already. Uh, I use this lady here. Um, I love Nish, I think is her name. She's got well over 4,000 reviews. She's really good. I've used her for, for quite a few different um, logo animations when we work on our clients' um, movies and things like that. So, um, so as you can see, like for £33, she will create, and you can see what's included by clicking on that little thing here. So she does one version um, and she gives you, she basically provides it to you exactly how you've just seen mine. I mean, I just go for the basic one. That's what I did. And so uh, that's what you're looking at here. She did this for me. And she turned that around in a day. So that was really good. So of course you want to plan in this amount of time. Uh, unless you know how to do this yourself. I would suggest that you just get somebody else to do it. There are cheaper people that you can get. You might even be able to get it done for $5. Um, I like her because I know I can trust her. She delivers it really quickly for me, um, you know, and she's always done done a really good job. And if I haven't been happy, I've just gone back to her and said, can you tweak this? Can you add that? Could you put this on there? Um, you know, and she's, she's pretty good at, at dealing with that for you. So that's the first piece of it. The second piece is we want to create um, a, a nice um, uh, music to go over the top of it. So where I go and get my music is from Pixabay. So you can have videos, you can look for, um, uh, you can get your photos, illustrations, vectors, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but music, um, this is where, oh, I didn't want, it's got moving clouds written on there. Um, so music. So what I'm looking for, for example, with, um, with my One Year No Fear podcast. Let's have a look at that one. My One Year No Fear um, uh, show. So I want something upbeat, um, so upbeat music. And so you can download any of these for free. They're royalty free, you can use them. As long as you are not selling um, this music to somebody else, you've got the rights to use it. You can, once you download it, um, if you find one that you like, then you can credit that person um you know wherever you put it so when you put your description up into youtube or you put it up into whatever your podcast platform is you can credit the person who you got that music from you don't have to um but it's quite a nice thing to do so what you do is you just click on here uh don't know why it's adult content but there you go so you can listen to them and There you go, so you can decide which one you want. And literally, when you decide which one you want, when you've got the one you like, you just click download, and that's going to download it to your downloads or wherever it is that you save your downloads. I've already got my music, so I'm just going to go down to Ripple Makers Podcast Music, and I'm going to drag that in. So as you can see, like everything I just drag and drop over the top, it's adding it to my imported media. As soon as that's ready, there you go, it's now available for me. I'm gonna go drag it down here 
and drop it underneath. Now, there you go. So you can see that I've got my podcast music. Now, the music file is 2 minutes 37. I'm not going to need that. But I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. Because what I want to do is create my intro to go over the top of this. So I've got, an in, I've got a podcast script that I created, which you can see here. And so all I've done is I've created it in a notes file. This is my intro and this is my outro. So I've kept it very simple, very short, very sweet. So we're now going to create that intro. So uh, let's go to record and create. So I'm just going to choose screen. Actually, no, I'm going to choose camera. I'm just going to go for camera. Hello. <laughs> okay, so uh, we just want the default microphone on the Mac. Perfect. Um, don't need any of that. You can choose if you've got a different camera, if you're using a webcam. But I'm going to click on here and I'm just going to record. I'm not worried about what I look like at this point because I'm going to put a, a video over the top of it anyway. So here we go. I'm just going to read my notes. You're listening to The Ripple Makers Show. Deep dive stories and confessions with inspirational change makers from within the One Drop Movement community. This show will share with you the winning insights behind how real thought leaders and movement makers react when the shit really hits the fan. Watch out for insightful episodes launched every Friday covering how these inspirational change makers have learned the hard way how to become the go-to experts in their industry. Hosted by yours truly, Sammy Blindell, the brand builder. There we go. So I'm going to save and edit that. So that is now being added to my imported media area that in there right so we want that to bolt onto there now I'm going to create a, a graphic that goes over the top of that okay so let's get to the bit where all right so now to select the file you want to make sure that it's got a green outline around it whatever you're using to edit your videos it'll probably act the same way but I'm just gonna can you see what it does there so there's there's nothing selected it's kind of goes white when you hover over it but when you actually select it it goes green so I'm going to edit it now there's two ways I could do it I could just drag it so that I'm just dragging it to that point or I can click on the split clip area when I know exactly what area it is that I want to split it to click on that and now I can hit the bin button and I can either drag that so it meets here because that's what I want it to do or I can click this bin and it's going to delete the empty space for me so let's find exactly where I start speaking okay so it's about there so as you can see I'm just going to drag it in and drag it up to there. You're listening to the Ripple Makers. Okay, so what we're going to do is because that music is loud over the top of that, I'm going to select this here and I'm actually going to cut the music. So I'm going to press the split clip button there. And what I want is to make this music a lot quieter than this one. So if you listen to it now. So that's going over my voice. So what I need to do is lower this clip here. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on audio on the right hand side. And you see the volume is really high. I'm going to bring that volume down to about eight. Let's see what it does at eight. You're listening to the Ripple Makers show. So you see how my voice is now amplified over that. I'm actually thinking I'm going to increase the volume of my voice so that it's as clear as the music you're listening to the ripple makers show deep dive story right you can hear there's a bit of distortion there so i'm going to bring that down 
to about 150. Let's see what that does. You're listening to the Ripple Makers Show. Deep dive stories and confessions with inspiration. Yeah, so I'm not happy with that. It's it still seems like it's distorted. You might not be able to hear it, but I can. You're listening to the Ripple Makers Show. Deep dive stories and confessions with inspirational change makers from within the One Drop Movement community. This show will share with you the winning insights behind how real thought leaders and movement makers. Right, so that's still a bit loud. So I'm going to bring that down, maybe bring that down to about a five. You're listening to the Ripple Makers show. Deep dive story. Actually, I'm going to move this and I'm going to start that there because I want the music... I'm going to do that again so you can see how easy it is to edit I should make that a little bit longer for now um, and I want this to be longer so I'm going to go back to speed and I'm going to bring that down there we go should move that back because I want the um, I want the music to end on a natural kind of part of its chorus so let's clip that I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to audio. Let's bring that down to about five, I think it was before. And now let's have a look. You're listening to the Ripple Makers there you go. Show. I'm happy with that because it's got a natural break to the, the chorus area there. You're listening to the Ripple Makers Show. Deep dive stories and confessions with inspirational change makers from within the One Drop Movement community. This show will share with you the winning insights behind how real thought leaders and movement makers react when the shit really hits the fan. Watch out for insightful episodes launched every Friday covering how these inspirational change makers have learned the hard way how to become the go to experts in their industry. Hosted by yours truly, Sammy Blindell the brand builder okay so i'm going to end that there so i'm going to oops, going to clip that where i've chosen and i'm going to move the music i'm going to actually bring the music up a bit because i want the music to get louder again once it's finished here Sammy blindell the brand builder okay so i'm going to edit that to there I'm going to now select the music. I'm going to split it again. And then I'm going to put the music back up to where it was. So that is at 100%. So I'm going to put this back up to 100%. And you'll hear... Hosted by yours truly, Sammy Blindell, the brand builder. Right, so we don't want it to be so harsh. So what we can do is we can select it and we can put a fade in. So you can do a fade in and fade out. So what we'll probably do is move that back a little bit, move that forward a bit, and I'm gonna put a fade in. So let's see what that does. Brand builder. You see it fades in, and we're gonna do the same thing on here. So let's do a fade in. So it doesn't just drop. You're listening. Right, so we need to do a fade out on this. I'm just going to move that forward a little bit so it gives it some time before it goes into my voice. Hopefully it's making sense. You're listening to the Ripple Makers show. Deep you see it's a bit, it's not so harsh with that break. You're listening to the Ripple Makers show. Deep dive stories and confessions with okay so now what we want to do i'm just going to zoom out so that i can see the whole thing i want to see this whole clip so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a, a video over the top and this is one that i already went into um pixabay before only i chose the video option so i went to uh, videos instead and i selected i can't remember what it was globe spinning people or something like that 
uh, there we go so where it says sponsored videos i stock these are all paid for videos so if you click on any of these it's going to take you through to iStock and you're going to be asked to pay for it um, where it says royalty free videos you can use any of these videos so you could search for anything you could uh, put running for example and all the sponsored videos all of these are ones you pay for and these are the ones that are for free so you could type in anything you could, sausages dogs weather whatever you want in there uh, meditation music clouds water waterfalls you know just type it in here as your keyword select videos and that's going to go grab um videos for you and again you can credit those people in your uh, youtube channel or uh, you know your, your podcast whatever you're using so i've already gone and downloaded uh, a spinning globe i've already got my um, graphic that i want in there so i'm going to import that and then i'm going to drag it over the top of here so you can't see my face you can only see the video so as you can see that that's a, a bit of a bigger video that i've imported there so that'll take a, a bit of time to come in but the nice thing about this is that once you've got all of this in place and you've put any text or anything over the top of it you've now got your intro so all this is an intro that will stay forever i don't ever have to record that again i have obviously got this all recorded already i'm just doing this today to show you exactly how i do it what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come in here and i'm going to give this a name i'm going to call this one year no fear podcast so that i know that that's the uh, the one year no fear podcast because i've got various different podcast shows so you can record your podcast in this as well in exactly the same way that i've done this here so you can either choose to uh, create it either face to camera you could put a um you know create your script and read from your script have it on a word document you could be reading from it and uh, you know and, and as it's showing on your um, youtube channel you might go into pixabay and choose just a nice graphic that you lay over the top if you don't want people to see your face but of course if you want to make it really personal then i suggest that you do have face to camera so now that's finished uh, uploading i'm going to go and drag and drop that and i'm going to put it over the top of my video now as you can see it ends the video ends before the end of my video so you've got a choice you can either just start it again so you could just um, do a, a copy and paste if you wanted to so you have two of them um, I went and created uh, you doing it exactly the same way that I've just shown you here I went and created uh, a version that has um, uh, a different intro to it so i put the graph the logo over the top um i edited pictures of people into it and things like that so um i've done that um, for my ripple makers show um you don't have to uh, create one that's like that you could also go to the fiverr lady and have her make something like that for you this is not the ripple makers show so i'm just going to go and edit the front you're of listening this. to the ripple makers show I'm going to take it from there to edit Ripple Makers show out. So I've already created this, this video using Clipchamp. I just created it in a different project and I exported it as a whole thing. So if ever I want to do what like I'm doing now, I can import just that one thing. I don't have to import all of the little videos and everything uh, again. Hopefully that makes sense. So now what we should see is over the top of my face it should now be the graphic you're listening to the ripple makers show deep dive stories and confessions with inspirational change makers from within the one drop movement community this show will share with you the winning insights behind how real thought leaders and movement makers react when the shit really hits the fan watch out for insightful episodes launched every friday covering how these inspirational change makers have learned the hard way how to become the go-to experts in their industry. Hosted by yours truly, Sammy Blindell, the brand builder. So I can, I want to speed that up a little bit so I, it's exactly the same um, speed as that. So I'm just going to go to speed 
and I'm going to make it a tiny little bit so that's 1.1 1 .1. okay so what we can do is we can drag that in let's see if we can actually no I want that to go a little bit further hosted by yours truly Sammy Blindell the brand builder okay so that's now finishing a little bit earlier so I'm gonna bring that in oh no we're not we're going to make that longer and I'm gonna split that so I'm now gonna put that clip go to audio gonna put that back up to a hundred and we're gonna put the fade in just do a one second fade in the industry hosted by yours truly Sammy Blindell the brand builder okay so let's see if we can speed that one up just a tiny bit 1.1 1 .1. mm. no we're gonna we'll keep it as it is okay so now we are ready for the brand builder for our content now I use Canva for all of my content so I'm just going to go into my Canva account and find my uh, one year no fear so as you can see I've got my ripple makers uh, podcast there so I use that one here we go so this is the one year no fear so the key is to work out what your content strategy is if you already know what you're going to create your podcast on then um, you know it's easy for you isn't it um, so for example I've created podcasts how to deal with trolls and spammers as you build your brand five strategies to help you show up stand up and speak up fearlessly even when you don't feel like it so I've done lots of different shows that are I mean it's one year no fear it's a brand visibility program so they're all around that so I'm just going to take one of my graphics so I can take this one I'm going to duplicate the page because I've already got the graphic and everything on there so I'm going to go into my uploads and find a nice image that I'm going to use for this particular show. Let's use something like that. Now, usually I would think of the topic first, <laughs> but this is just to show you really how I create my graphics and stuff. So, um, so now we've got to think of the show. So I've already done my content planning. I know exactly what my next show is going to be. And I use um, my notes file or I've got um, a, a, a Google account. So I've got everything in my Google Drive. But for now, I'm just going to get it off the notes file from my mobile phone because that's where I've put my I've got my notes and things in here. So my first video, my first podcast that I'm going to make today is how to build your personal brand and stand out. So the title from it for it is from invisible to influential. So I'm going to go and type in here from invisible to influential. Now the way that I've got that color behind my my letters so do a select all if you want to use the same kind of thing and if you click on effects at the top you can choose to have a background on it so there you go so I can choose to have a background I can have it super round or I can make it square I quite like mine with just a little bit of a, a roundness to it you can choose how much it spreads behind the wording and you can choose your color so I'm going to choose pink because that's my one year no fear brand color um, and how to build your personal brand and stand out actually I think that's what's going to be the thing how to build your personal brand and stand out I'm going to move that out of the way for a second. And I think what I'm going to do is just center that and make it that little bit smaller. I'm going to use a different image.
Now, what you can do with Canva is you can actually add audio clips over the top. So what I usually do is go and put a little edit of an audio clip in here. Um, for now, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to put that with my name. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. So it fits on there. There we go. So how to build your personal brand and stand out with Sammy Blindell. So that's going to be my graphic. What you can do as well. So I, I got a professional photographer to do all of my photography. You can play with um, your photography and get it however you want it. So I'd quite like to have the writing on my t-shirt above the wording. There we go, just needs to be a little bit smaller. There we go. How to build your personal brand and stand out. That's now gonna download that for me. Okay, and I'm now gonna go grab that download, drag it into my imported media area and now what I can do is drag that over the top and I can make that as long as I want to. So what I would um, do is I usually like to have, um, you know, quite a loud bit at the beginning, then the sound drops and you have my voiceover and then you have a little bit of um, the, the episode title with a bit of music and then that goes into the actual podcast itself. So I, I don't like it to be more than um, usually 40 or 50 seconds. So let's have a look at this. Experts in the industry, hosted by yours truly, Sammy Blindell, the brand builder. So actually what I'm going to do is, I am going to speed this video up a little bit. Because I want my image to be on there for a bit longer. So I'm going to go to my desktop, I'm going to find that image, which is here, I'm going to drag that in, because you can drag as many images on here as you want to. By yours truly, Sammy Blindell, the brand builder. So I'm going to, when it gets to... History, hosted by yours truly... I'm going to make that a bit bigger. Hosted by yours truly, Sammy Blindell, the brand builder. Now, as you can see, it's dragged it in, but it hasn't dragged it in to fit this screen. So I'm going to, oh, I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah, I want to make that, uh, nope. There we go. So that should now. In the industry. Hosted by yours truly, Sammy Blindell, the brand builder. Because what I've done is I've taken a video from the Ripple Makers podcast show and I'm using it for um, the one year no fear. So I'm cheating industry. a little bit here. Hosted by yours truly, Sammy Blindell, the brand builder. <laughs> Right, so that's where I'm going to finish it because I don't want it to be more than 45 seconds. That's a lot. So I can now drag that back and I'm going to drag the audio back and I'm going to fade it out. So what I need to do now is create my actual podcast episode. So I'm going to do this podcast episode on the topic that I've chosen, which is how to build your personal brand and stand out. Okay, so now we're going to create our content. So, hello.
<laughs> now you can either create the script for it and read it out if you want to you could go on to uh, pixabay grab yourself a nice video put it over the top of yourself so you can't on the video version can't see you speaking if you're having a bad hair day you can't be asked to do your makeup um i'm doing all of the above but i'm doing <laughs> i'm gonna make this podcast for you to show you so uh, the topic that we've chosen, just to refresh my memory, because I've only done the content strategy this morning, how to build your personal brand and stand out. So, all right. So we're now going to just get started. Hello and welcome to today's show on how to build your personal brand and stand out. So if you have been putting all of your focus on building your business brand or even uh, the products, the services, the, the promotions that you're running, and you've got a little bit behind on how you are showing up as the personal brand in your industry, then today I want to change that. I want you to put a little bit of focus on you if you haven't been putting that focus on you for a while. The the reason I want you to do that is because people buy from people they know, like and trust. You've probably heard that saying before. People buy from people they know, like and trust. They are buying from you most of the time. Even if you take a brand such as uh, Virgin or Apple, for example, where they have very strong personal brands behind those organizations. Let's face it, when you think of Apple, we still think of Steve Jobs. He died, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years ago at the point of making this episode, but we still connect Steve Jobs to Apple because he was such a big part of the, the fabric of that brand. It's the same for Virgin. When you buy anything from a Virgin company because Sir Richard Branson is such a big part of the branding for that, you all you almost feel like you're buying from Richard Branson himself so I'm not going to go on with this episode I'm because my laptop is overheating because I'm doing a lot on it at this moment in time uh, I'm recording my screen recording this for you so uh, I'm not going to do that because you're going to hear a big hissing on the actual recording so I'm not going to do that right now what I'll do is I'll re-record this and I'll do the actual episode uh, uh, when I'm not recording the screen and having lots of things going on this machine at the same time uh, and that way there'll be really good audio on this so I'm going to press the finish button now I can retake that recording Hello. or I can save and edit so I'm going to save and edit that's now going to import that file into this document for me Okay, so now that has dropped that in there, I'm going to drag that down so that it's on the same level as the other recorded elements. Um, that's just me. <laughs> I just find it easier so that like this level here is for any graphics I'm putting over the top of my audio files as such. So I keep my audios on the same level. Um, Okay, so now we want that to be just a little bit, so there's a little tiny bit of overlap, so there's no black gaps in um, in my video. And we've already gone, we've put a fade out on this, so we, because um, ultimately you don't want it to be really harsh, so add that fade out in there. Hello and welcome. So I want to get that to the point that I am about to speak, so let's just edit that a little bit. Hello and welcome to today's show on... Because then the music goes slightly over the top of my voice and that's what I'm wanting. Hello and welcome to today's show on how to build your personal brand and stand out. So if you have been putting all of your focus on building your... Right, there you go. So we've now got that. Let's imagine that's the end and we're editing and that, that off. will be really good audio on this so I'm gonna press okay so I've now stopped that so let's imagine that's the end of the podcast we've done the you know make sure you like and subscribe we'll see you same time same place next week thank you so much and have a great day bye bye for now so now what we want to do is put the ending a kind of outro we call it an outro so I'm just going to drag the logo so we've got um effectively to keep this simple <laughs> we've got the same logo at the beginning as we have at the end of the podcast okay so we're just going to add the music on now 
Um, oh, no, hang on. I've got the, sorry, Ripple Makers podcast music. We're going to add that just at the bottom here. We want it to just slightly overlap with the, the wording at the end. We're going to put the fade in on that so that it um, isn't harsh, doesn't just start over the top of my voice. We're going to fade it in. And remember what I said before, we're going to, instead of having to go all the way to the end and drag it all the way back, we're just going to select it at the point that we want to cut it, cut, and then delete the bit that we don't want. So we're going to delete that bit. And now that should, and that way there'll be really good audio on this. So I'm going to press there you go. So that's ultimately how to edit your podcast. So you can record and edit the whole thing in here. Um, so you've got all these little component parts. So just let's just recap on what we've got that you're going to need to make if you're going to create something that is, you know, kind of semi-professional like the thing that I'm creating here. Um, you can, like I say, just go into Anchor and totally... Um, upload your your uh, audio in there you can record your audio in there you can do everything in your anchor account let me just take you in there i use anchor fm um it's designed and, and hosted by spotify so uh, spotify is a really major uh, channel that you're definitely going to want to have your episodes go out through uh, through Spotify, uh, iTunes, Apple, so which is iTunes, um, and you know, and all of the other, um, uh, you know, Amazon Music. You can you can connect it to anything from here. Um, so you can go to your analytics when you're in home. You can go to your settings. You can um, uh, make your podcast available on all the platforms from here. So it's very easy to use. Uh, this is a fairly new um, podcast that I started a little while ago. So I've got 14 episodes in there so far. And as you can see, you can go to your episodes. And um, let me just click on that just to show you what kind of information you're going to need. So you're obviously going to need a title for it. Uh, I usually put the episode number at the beginning of it as well, plus the title. And then what I've done is I've created a template that, um, so, you know, it says in today's video, because I've copied and pasted that from the YouTube description. But so whereas this would be in the YouTube description, I would just put in today's show. Um, and that way you're not having to worry about today's video or today's audio or whatever. You can just keep it the same in each one. So I've put some downloads in uh, in my text that goes with it. I've put some of my about one drop movement and, you know, who we are, what we do. I've put that in there. You can schedule. So if you want to post your um, your podcast and set and for set it and forget it, they call it. Um, you can create, say, five podcast episodes in one go and then you can just upload them in here and you could have one going out every day if you wanted to. And, you know, what I love about Anchor is you can do lots of different things. You can add a poll, you can put a QA and a in there. So it's going to ask you what season is it? So generally, um, a, a podcast show will go for about 20 episodes before that's you know the end of season one so you could see your um episodes it could be you know season one is a specific um type of content for that channel and then season two is the next um you know season of content so it might be that you have different themes to to the content you're creating uh, you know like for, for us we've got personal branding business branding uh, which can otherwise be known as corporate branding but people search for those in two different ways so i would probably do um, some seasons on each of those type of uh, content uh, again you've got the one year no fear so uh, there's there's at least 12 different episodes that i could do on the different fears that we cover in our one year no fear program um this is a full uh, episode. You can put it up as a trailer. You can also put it up as bonus content, for example. And I'd, I've just said that it's clean because I don't think I've got any swearing going on in that. And you're going to need your podcast episode art. Now, we already created the episode art to go into the actual video itself, which is sat here. So um, we've already got the episode art. I, oh, no, that one. Um, so you can just use exactly the same file, which is I've tried to make it as easy as possible for you so you're not duplicating effort. Um, so that way you've got your podcast graphic, you know, exactly what season you're on, you know, what episode it is. And um, if you've created your template already, I just have this in a, um, a, a notes file on my on my laptop. 
So I just copy and paste it in. And then depending on what the content is about, if I've got a different download that I want to give them, I'll just point them to a different download or it's in the same area, but I might just talk about a different download that, that would really help them in connection with the topic that we're talking about. So, um, so that's really it. I'm going to encourage you to go and, and create um, your own uh, version of your own flash graphic. Graphic. If you've got a logo, go to Fiverr, um, connect with um, uh, I Love Nish <laughs> at I Love Nish. Um, connect with her and order your logo to be created and turned into a flash graphic. Um, if you're wanting any uh, videos or graphics or imagery and everything, then uh, obviously you can get that from Pixabay create your um, thumbnail graphics and your promotion graphics in Canva and then use Anchor to upload your content. So what, what you do is when you're ready to export that, say this is the proper show, what we do is we click on export. Uh, I don't need to, to do anything with that. What that's saying is there's a gap because there's a gap here, but I want that gap there because I've got an image there. So I don't need to worry about a gap. So I'm going to press continue anyway. And you can choose what level of quality you want to export it at. So because this is going to be a, a video version um, that, and I want it for my YouTube channel, usually I'll put it out at 1080 if it's going to go onto YouTube. And you'll see that's now going to download that content. Um, once it's finished doing it, it will um, save it. It will go into my downloads. You can save it to your Dropbox. You can upload it direct to YouTube as well if you want to create your uh, or connect it to your YouTube account. Um, and then what you want to do is convert the video file into an audio file. Um, I have my own um, software that I've invested in called Mavavi, but I paid for that and, and I use that for doing all kinds of stuff before I knew that this technology was available. So whilst that's doing that, I'm just going to go and show you an online version you can use where you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to uh, buy your own version. So what we're going to do is type into Google, just go to Google Chrome or whatever it is you're using for your search engine. Free. Uh, video to audio converter and there'll be lots of different ones that you can use um, ultimately what I'm looking to do is go to one where I don't have to download anything so I can open the file and it's going to um, allow me to export so as you can see there so it's going to ask me to open it so you obviously need your your file to be downloaded first so let's, it's almost at 100%. It usually takes a little bit longer, obviously, if you've got a 15 minute show that's in there. Mine was only a couple of minutes. Right, so we've got that. So I'm going to add that to my desktop so that I can find it easily. That's where Greg has got his all set out to go to. Right, so open file. So I'm now going to go find that on my desktop, One Year No Fear podcast, open. I want to convert it to an MP3 because I want the, um, you know, the good sound quality. I want best. Now you've got a 400 megabyte file there, so it might take a while for it to upload to here. But once it's done that, um, you'll then be able to convert it. And I wouldn't worry about any of this stuff here. Just leave that as it is. Right, there we go. So that's now available. Like I say, forget about the advanced settings. I'm now going to click on convert. That's going to convert my MP3. I'm going to download. And that now is my audio file to upload to Anchor. to the Ripple Makers show. There you go. I'm not going to put you through that whole thing. So you can see it's actually very easy. It's taken longer for me to describe it to you than it would for me to actually create and edit my own shows uh, because the beginning part of it is all there already. 
literally the only bit I have to create each time is the actual content. So the biggest time is going to be in you setting it up and any technology you use will probably look like this. So even if you're not going to use ClipChamp and you're going to use something else, this is usually the way that it all goes together. So you need your, if you're going to do it uh, semi-professionally, you're going to want your logo graphic at the beginning, um, an intro from you, you're going to want your uh, music, which you can uh, download from Pixabay. Uh, any videos you want to put over the top, you know, to make it nice and whizzy, uh, you can do that. Have a good play with it. You're going to need your actual content, which you're going to need to record and create. That will drag and drop in and then end it with your outro with the music. And that's it. And if you create podcast episodes where you're interviewing people or you want to put an advert in the middle then let's say this is your whole episode and you want to edit it at a natural pause find those organizations let's face it when you think of apple we still think of steve jobs All right so imagine that that's where i want to cut it and i want to put an advert in the middle you just go find the bit where you want to cut it split the clip and then you can drop your um advert in there obviously you'll just need to move these over a little bit oh hang on uh, you need to move those over because you'll need some space for your ad in the middle but if you've got a two minute ad you can drop that in there um but that up to the end of it and now you've got an ad that you can put in there so um there's so much you can do with it there's so much you can do and i encourage you to create innovate um, explore, get it to the point where you're really happy with it. Um, you know, don't go into perfection or analysis paralysis because you'll end up not posting anything at all. You could just literally talk, export and upload that to Anchor. It's only if you want to make it semi-professional like I've done here. So you've got something for YouTube as well as um, your podcast, because let's face it, if you're going to have a podcast, you might as well be putting that content onto YouTube. But you can't put an MP3 file up to YouTube. It has to be a video file. If you've got any questions, let me know. Put them in the comments below or reach out to me personally. I'm on Facebook Messenger. You can uh, connect with me. I'll make sure that I put my link below. You can email me, sammy at howtobuildabrand.org. And, um, and yeah, and check out the channel. Look out for future podcasts that are coming your way. Please do go subscribe to uh, my podcast. So we've got the Ripple Makers show. We've got One Year No Fear. Go and listen to them. They're, there's some really awesome content on there and um, I'll look forward to hearing from you when you've created your podcast and uh, you know drop me the link to it so I can go and have a listen have an amazing day keep making those ripples that only you can make and I'll look forward to seeing you very soon